Good evening, and uh, welcome to the Daily Truth Case webinar being presented by Novant Health Management and DME Orders. This is Navy's award winning use case for the value of health IT. My name is Arnold Simmons, a manager of quality and patient safety. It's my pleasure to moderate this presentation. Fortune's mission is promoting the use of IT to improve the quality of healthcare delivery. Then promote and advocate the integration of clinical decisions to support its practice guidance. Add clinical data to analyze progress and enable patient safety tools for all care organizations, patients, and community members as tools for improving patient outcomes. The Hickory C. Davies Award of Excellence is the pinnacle of the Value Recognition Program. This award recognizes outstanding achievement of organizations from the world who have utilized health information technology to improve patient outcomes and value. The award-winning use cases have been peer-reviewed to validate sustainable, improved patient and business outcomes resulting from health that enable care delivery. It's a pleasure. It's my pleasure to welcome our speakers for today's webinar. Uh, Brent is the co-clinical application manager uh, responsible for epic clinical documentation, house orders, and storing. Pan registered nurse with over 25 years of nursing and clinical informatic experience. And Ali is the senior director of corporate case management and is responsible for the strategic direction and operational leadership for all hospital case management activity across Novak County. And Schuller is a senior analyst on the clinical documentation team. And this use and participates in projects within dimensions and acute system for Novak County facility. I welcome you all to the presentation today. And I'll turn this over to you. Today we're going to talk about case management and the DME orders. In second quarter of 2015, case management was experiencing um, a lot of change, uh, including a reduction of staff uh, with an increase in complex charge needs. And we were looking for opportunities to streamline the DME ordering process, which would allow case management to work at the top of their role. We approached IT and asked to see if they could help uh, with any electronic solutions for some of our manual processes that improves efficiencies related to throughput by having the DME orders and needs identified early and a, pl and a plan in place prior to discharge. So our original analysis showed opportunities that included home health and durable medical equipment orders not being placed until the day of discharge. And our compliance audit indicated our Physician order management was used less than 80% when ordering DME home health and face to face. Our home health face to face documentation was also not com being completed by the physician timely and accurately. So we did a uh, four phase approach. In phase one, we reviewed our goals and objectives for DME and face to face orders. We identified our key business partners who would approve the IT solution. We identified our Medicare requirements. In two, we met with our key business partners, case management, physical therapy, occupational therapy, providers, and nursing. We also engaged the chief medical information officer and our clinical informatics team. In three, we spent time outlining our IT build solution and so charting our new workflows. In our phase, we did a lot of testing and training 
we had our business sign off, and then we uh, began our post implementation monitoring. Intended outcomes of the project were to improve our DME ordering prior to discharge, to facilitate home health, DME, and face to face orders, and uh, obtain the signature before discharge, to increase our CPOM rate with placing DME home health and face to face orders. 100% compliant with Medicare Medicaid requirements for DME home health and face to face, ultimately improve patient throughput. So, health IT was utilized. We standardized our equipment options for discharge follow up needs between nursing, physical therapy, occupational therapy, case management, and our providers. Uh, as you'll see, uh, this is two screenshots. Uh, that show our PT uh, equipment recommended options that we made available with easy radio buttons and accessible uh, those ancillary departments. On the left side, you'll see um, our discharge needs flow sheet uh, row that allows you to be able to select multiple options. Uh, this is an example of the order for a rolling walker. As you can see, we simplified it by um, allowing all the potential uh, walker options of that particular DME to be in one central location, not have to do separate orders. With best practice alerts uh, that uh, trigger from nursing and ancillary documentation directly to the provider. By doing this, it allows the provider to receive the alert instead of relying on notes and reports. Also uh, created patient list columns that identify active BPAs that need to be addressed by the care team. BPAs um, also trigger a case management consult, and this can be done at any point throughout the hospitalization when ancillary departments, nursing, physical therapy, and occupational therapy receive a BPA um, that uh, when they document that the charge needs are. Um, outside of the simple category. We implemented a saved work workflow for case managers. So case managers are able to access the home health DME discharge order set that use up the orders for the provider's signature. Limited access to the face-to-face -face order to physicians only, and we did this uh, through the use of BPAs and order set restrictors and so removed uh, from the preference list. We identified simple DME needs that could be managed without a case measure. Again, this allowing um, the opportunity to shift work so that case managers could work on top of their role, allowing administrative support to fill simple DME and home health needs. The items included walker, cane, bedside commode, and simple home health. Simple needs workflow um, utilizes utilize the involvement of a case manager. Um, it is for the patients that only require those simple needs, as were mentioned in the previous slide, of uh, walker, bedside commode, cane, or simple home health equipment. It starts by nursing, PT, and or OT recognizing a simple home need. This gets submitted in a flow sheet row to their discipline. PA is then fires to the provider indicating the need. The PA alerts the provider to open the order set and to view those recommendations. The ones in the rec recommendations are pre-checked based on the documentation completed by nursing and or those ancillary 